Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. There's no one like you. I realize now that I won't be able to find a love like ours with somebody else. Um, my I just dyed my hair, so that's why my hands are like that. You're so empathetic and kind and thoughtful. It's inspiring me to open up to you. Sometimes I cry over you. I regret what I said to you. So someone here is very nostalgic. They're really in their head about you. It feels like feels like they might have regret something that they said in the past. They might feel embarrassed about something they said in the past. I've thought about going on a vacation with you. So this person might have thought about um, traveling with you or going somewhere specific with you. came on strong I wasn't ready for it my life is busy and chaotic I feel numb I'm running on autopilot I actually don't feel like this message right here is for most of you because this is a much different energy I'm picking up two different energies here because this one seems very nostalgic this one seems like it would be totally fine with you coming on strong this one on the other hand this feels like a different set of it feels like there's two energy groups of Leos that I'm reading for so I'm actually going to just do two separate messages here, I think. So what does this energy group of Leos want to say? There's so much that I want to say to you. I look at your pictures often. So this person is very nostalgic. This person is kind of also just... It feels like, the, like in their head about you, like they're not... Um, this doesn't feel like somebody who's really reaching out. It feels like somebody who's, you know, they're fantasizing. I get a strong energy of nostalgia of fantasizing here because it's like there's so much that they want to say to you. They're looking at your pictures, but they're not really saying anything. You know, they might be crying over you sometimes. Um, they're in the regret over something they said to you. They've thought about going on a vacation with you. Um, like they're, they're you know, kind of daydreaming here about... Uh, you know, possibly traveling with you. And what else did we get here? And yeah, there's no one else like you. I, I'm not going to be able to find a love like ours with somebody else. I kind of get like unicorn energy too. Like somebody who's like, you know, they, they feel like other people just don't compare to you. Like they feel like they only, like maybe they have a hard time connecting with, connecting deeply at least. They might have people around them that they care about. But, but I think this person has a hard time really connecting deeply with um with a lot of people and and so they feel at home with you they feel it's it's like they there's no one like you you know they're not going to be able to find that that feeling of home that that love with anybody else um platonically romantically whatever it might be you know they really it's it's like they see you as somebody who's kind and empathetic and thoughtful and there's so much that they want to say to you, but I get so, so like a unicorn is one of those things where it's like you fantasize about it, but you don't actually, um, it, it, it's, it's like, it's, it would be too devastating to lose it. So you don't actually really go after it. It's just one of those things where it's like you fantasize about it and you dream about it and you, you want it, you want it, you want to make it a reality, but it feels like it's just a fantasy or it's just in your head or you feel like you're, um, like you don't know how to how to make it physical. You don't know how to make it real. So it's it's kind of like this person's just in this dreamlike nostalgic energy. You know, they are missing you. They are crying over you. They are wanting this to to manifest physically, but but it seems like they're kind of holding back and just looking at your pictures and just, you know, dreaming about going on vacation with you and that kind of thing. I'm going to get to this energy group of Leos in a minute. Um, I'm just looking at the cards for a second. Okay, let's see. Let's get more into it. I'm thinking about what you said. You're so different than anyone I've ever met. You've helped me become a better person. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. You might have been something said, what something there might have been something that you said, whether it was good or bad, that just stuck with this person. That they might like reference something that you said and go back to that. Um, 
I feel like it's going to be different for everybody, but I feel like it's either something, it, it feels like a strong energy here. So I feel like it's either something really good or really bad. Like it was either something really, um, like really positive, like something like supportive and loving where it's like, I think in their darker times, they think about that conversation, um, or on like a negative aspect. I think like if there was like rejection or something like that here, or if you said things, um, if you said anything that was like harsh or, uh, or just kind of push them away. I feel like they, they think about that sometimes like when they're, you know, cause they feel nostalgic, but then it's like, there's not, there's this energy of just dreaming and not really actually reaching out or doing anything. So I feel like that kind of comes back to this. Like they might think about things you've said and be like, okay, well this person doesn't really like want me to reach out or they don't, you know, I'm going to reach out. I'm searching for the right words to say. I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my soft side. I don't feel like this one's for everyone, though. I think some of them are not going to reach out. That's the energy I'm picking up, at least. They're going to, they're either you're going to reach out or they're just, you're not going to talk, basically. Um, I feel like there's the desire to talk there. There's the like this strong desire and this nostalgia and missing you and wanting you in their life. But some of them that are, are if they're thinking about what you said on a more negative aspect, I feel like they're probably not going to be reaching out. But again, of course, you know, you can reach out to them. I looked for love in all the wrong places, I'm trying to get my life together so I can come back to you with a stable love offer. Yeah, it's that unicorn energy that I keep getting. It's like you're my safe space, my frequent daydream. Sometimes it feels easier to just live in an imaginary, in this imaginary world I've created in my head. That's really strong unicorn energy that I'm picking up here where it's like this person, it's like they miss you. Um, we got that energy of them not feeling quite, it, it's like they don't really connect with others quite as deeply as they connect with you. It's like there's, there's something special about your connection, um, where they feel at home with you, you know? And, and so I think there's just, I, I just get this energy of just kind of, um, like I said, kind of like living in their head, kind of nostalgic but nostalgic but not actually like planning on reaching out or anything like that um I feel like if you're in this energy group as opposed to this one I feel like you would have to be the one to reach out there yeah because see that kind of confirms it I can't tell if you're interested I'm bad at picking up hints so this person it feels like this person doesn't think that you have feelings for them or they don't think that you're they, they might think that it's one-sided is what I'm getting so it's just kind of one of those things where they miss you and they're nostalgic but they might think that that is just one-sided and just kind of in in their head you know because they they don't actually yeah I can't tell if you're interested I'm bad at picking up hints I want to take things slow and get to know you better I had a huge epiphany I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. So there's a lot of fear here. A lot of fear of, I think, getting hurt is kind of what I'm picking up here. Yeah, again, more of that kind of on the side energy. Like, I've been spying on you. I observe and notice every little thing about you. I re read your social media posts. So it's like somebody who's really missing you, but they're just, again, kind of in their head, kind of you know, nostalgic dreaming, like they do want, um, especially with this, what was this? I've thought about going on vacation with you. It's like, they, they think about those things. They want those things, but you know, they, they, they kind of feel like it might be one-sided or they, they don't know if there's actually the love there. Might've even tried to look for replacements for you, even for some, not for all of you, but it's like I looked for love in all the wrong places. Some of them might have tried to distract themselves with other people. And then in the end, they just it didn't feel right. You know, they might have just ended up like it didn't feel right to them to be with other people. 
Oops, sorry. <laughs> let me see what this let me see what this energy group here has to say. So again, this is two different energy groups of Leos. This is for one group of Leos. This is for a second group of Leos that are watching. You came on strong. I wasn't ready for it. Like my life is busy and chaotic. Yeah. So for this energy group of Leos, I feel like you're um, I feel like you're de dealing with someone that has a very busy work schedule, and you you probably know this already. Like this feels like somebody who works like 40, 50, 60 hours a week. Um, this is somebody who's just working all the time. They're just on autopilot. They're just kind of detached. So they're not really in the space for romance. This is somebody who's very, um, I do feel like you are dealing with somebody who's more, uh, at least in this point in their life, I feel like they're more money oriented as opposed to love oriented. I've been fantasizing about you sexually. I'm aware that we are telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. So on a telepathic level, you two are very close, but it's just in the physical, this person has a lot going on right now. Um, I do feel like they do fantasize about you though here and there um, when they have, you know, when they have the time pretty much. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. I've never felt this way before. So the feelings are there, I feel like with this person. This situation involves children and obligations or childish energy. Oh, I know what this could be. This could actually be a third party situation. This might be a third party situation where your person is, um, might be a mother or a father to, to a child and they're, uh, they're, they're trying to suppress their feelings for you to a degree because they're trying to do what's right for the child. They might be involved in a custody battle or they're just trying to do right by their ex-wife or ex-husband because they don't want to lose their kid. So I do think that the love is there. Like there, I think, oh, and this actually makes sense in the context too, now that I'm looking at it. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. So it's kind of like they're, they want to take that leap of faith with you, but they might be afraid of, you know, losing custody or their, their ex. If this is a third party situation, they're afraid of drama from the ex. Um, so that's part of that like busy energy where it's like, I think they're also trying to keep themselves busy and not think about you too much because they, they want to make sure it's like, you know, their child is their priority. So they want to make sure that they get custody or that they deal with this situation first. I'm damaged. I don't know how to open my heart again. I love you. Yeah, this is a third party situation. I'm trapped in a a stagnant unhappy situation I'm drained and distracted so yeah the second energy group is dealing with not not all of you not all of you are in a third party situation but I think I think most of you are for some this person really just has a busy schedule and they have some things in their life um, that they need to fix but yeah for most I'm getting that it's probably a child that they're trying to uh, figure things out with you hold the key. I'm waiting for you to uh, give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. You know, clear the path for love to enter. I need your help to understand. I thought I could find clarity alone, but I can't. I need answers. I'm working hard to remove the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. Yes, yeah, so I feel like this person is just, they do want to be with you. I do get that the love is mutual, but they just have other priorities right now that they need to focus on. Basically, they need to get custody of their child. Or if this is the other situation where this person's working 40, 50 hours a week, they might be, I'm getting somebody that's like in corporate like, cause I keep seeing somebody that's in a business suit. I'm, I'm seeing someone in a business suit. So I feel like this might be somebody who's trying to get a, they're just trying not to be distracted by love right now. They're trying to, they might be trying to get a promotion or they're trying to get custody or they're trying to get a new job or they might be trying to succeed with school. There's just, I'm getting like pentacles energy um, where it, it, it's like, they're just, they're trying to succeed with something in their life right now. And so they don't want to allow distraction, but the love is there. They do. And they're saying that you hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. So it might be one of those things where they, um, it, it's, they need, they need that balance. Maybe they don't know if you, maybe they don't feel like they could give you everything that you deserve right now because they're so distracted. But maybe if you reach out and you kind of work with this person and you guys find that balance together, then I feel like, you know, that clear opening might 
you know, they might also just not know how you feel. And so it's like they're not wanting to like go out of their way to pursue something if they're not, you know, because they have so much other stuff going on. But again, you have to ask yourself if you want that, though, too, because do you really want somebody who's not um, ready for you or somebody who's not, you know, able to fully pursue you right now? But I do think it's a good thing, though, that this person is um, aware that you do deserve more. They do feel like you do deserve a lot of attention and love. Um, so, yeah, that's where they're at. But but yeah, it feels like it would be in, in feels like for both situations, the ball is kind of in uh, your court to reach out or to at least leave some kind of opening, even if it's not reaching out, it could just be something like uh it could be a number of things, but it, it seems like there needs to be some kind of opening here. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. As always, I do private readings, so send me an email if you'd like a private reading. The email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com.